I'm Frank Seip. I live in Rockville Center much more than 50 years. It's been a great place. Born in Brooklyn in 1933, went to PS52. Teachers were all fine. They kept me on the right track. In the early childhood, I was a Boy Scout also. And the Boy Scouts gave me a real foundation for the rest of my life. And we needed to get some dry firewood to make, to cook. So in order to do that, we climbed a tree to chop down some dry firewood. The only problem was I'm sitting on the branch that I chopped and I came down <laughs> and broke my arm and wound up in a hospital. Yeah, we learned yeah, not to sit on the branch that you're chopping. I went to Erasmus Hall High School and it took me four and a half years to complete the course because I wasn't too good a student. When the draft came, I didn't want to go in the Army, so I quickly ran down and enlisted in the Navy, in spite of the fact that I couldn't swim and I couldn't see because of my poor eyesight. You had to pass a swimming test as part of your training. So you had to jump in the pool with a, and with a fully clothed and, and make a wing out of your pants. But unfortunately, I went down and I stayed down there, and they had to come in and get me. I spent four years in the Navy as a medic. I spent most of my time on the, in hospitals as an x-ray technician. I was 15 years old, invited to a Valentine party. My boy, Tony was 13 years old. And that started the romance that lasted this many years. We got married and we bought our first house in Brooklyn. We had two children in Brooklyn. And we, st we were in Brooklyn for a number of years and decided we wanted to move out to Rockville Center. We got moved to Rockville Center and we got involved pretty much immediately. Mostly I was, I was in the United Fund, which is, became the United Way. I belonged to the uh, Sandell Center as part of the Fosse Group. And I had, uh, belonged to the Church of the Ascension where I did many, many things, including being the senior warden, the director of the Sunday School, uh, the director of the Brotherhood of St. Andrew, the president of the ushers. I'm an auctioneer, a retired auctioneer and appraiser. And there was a fellow by the name of Rob O'Connor who was involved in the antiques. And he asked me if I would become part of the Phillips House. So I got involved with the Phillips House and at that time, they were ready to take this down and make it into a parking lot. But uh, we, I spoke with the mayor, Mayor Gene Murray. He said, if you don't want to lose it, then get, then get down there and get involved. And I got involved. Phil's house was located on the parking lot of the, the building next door to us. And they were going to demolish it to provide more parking. A fellow by the name of Charlie Day got the village to buy it for a dollar, and it was physically picked up and moved over here. And it was a fascinating story to have it. the house moved on logs, and the wheel wires taken down. The most fascinating part, as I'm concerned, is they were able to build a foundation, and they've had the house fit perfectly on the foundation. When I got involved with the Phillips House, it was in pretty poor condition. And my wife decided that if I'm going to be involved, she's going to fix it up. So she decorated the entire house. And uh, without her, the, the Phillips House would not be in the condition that it is. As part of uh, my job as an auctioneer and appraiser, I liquidated many estates. So there are many artifacts that are here that I had people donate with a little twist of an arm or whatever it took, but we got this stuff together. The original funds that supported the, the group was from an auction that I conducted at the Church of the Ascension for the Phillips House. I've been a member here of 30 years, president for probably over 25 years. Today in recent history, we've uh, involved mostly with Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, other youth organizations. Boy Scouts have done at least four projects here that they earned their Eagle Badge from. And the Girl Scouts got their Golden Star Award. 
We have, of course, uh, invite uh, any group that would like to come to learn a little bit about the history, not only of Rockville Center, but of the past.